Hello, Royalty. Good morning, and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, the regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it, we pick our topics, we discuss on them extensively with the scriptures to find out the mind of God in those areas that were raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those burdens, those questions that have lingered over the years in our hearts and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. Beloved, I want to assure you that your own questions have been taken care of in this platform. The only thing that you need to do to find out more is to join us. Subscribe and follow us every day. Do the study with us together. And as you begin to go through even the ones that we have done in the past, you begin to discover how far the Lord has done in your matter. And I know that your matter has been settled in the name of Jesus. Amen. May I also encourage people with, if you have any question based on the things that we have done in the past, and there are questions you want to ask, please put them on the comment section. Whenever we come the next day to handle or to do anything, before we do anything, we'll handle those questions so as to help our burdens taken away once again. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for tomorrow. Lord, we thank you for thus far you have brought us in this knowledge, in these teachings. We ask that your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Furthermore, Lord, as we keep advancing in this work, in this ministry, Lord, glorify yourself the more. Let every heart, let everyone encounter you in a special dimension. And that your name alone will always be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yesterday we started adversity. And I believe God is also going to be a series because each of the digest we take takes us a long time. We are not rushing them. We just take our time to explain so that you understand what we are doing. It is not a Bible reading. It is a study on its own. Because of the questions that are coming up, how do we handle them? Now, yesterday there was a question raised, does God actually send adversity to us? And we look at this so well that sometimes he does. And it could be kind of trying to correct you. If you offend in any way, he will chastise you. You know the Bible said that the Lord chastises those who are his. And that chastisement is against you, and that is adversity. Alright, but this morning we continue from that place. The question, we are still answering it. And let's look at the next passage and see what it has for us. And that is Lamentation chapter 3, verse 33. The Bible says, It does not enjoy hurting people or causing them sorrow. In Romans chapter 5, verse 8, the Bible says, But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Yeah, so what do we make of that? Is that God does not enjoy sending adversity into your life. His love for us is pure and intense. He does not want to see us suffer, but our suffering would be worse if he did not sometimes correct us. You will take things for granted. You will never appreciate what he has done if he does not bring correction to us. Now, that is the same way parents do sometimes. You know, we love our children, but there are points they have dragged themselves in disobedience. We try to correct them with Cain. So, if we do so to our children, how much more God to us? Amen. So, I want to enter the next question on this topic. It says, is there any way I can avoid trouble and adversity? Is there any way I can avoid trouble and adversity? Let's look at it in James chapter 1, verse 2 to 3. He said, When troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. 
is true. Troubles sometimes help us to know our level in Christ. And that is why I don't agree with people who pray for comfort always. Comfort is enmity to this child of God. Because when you become so comfortable as a soldier, you lay off your guard and then you have become vulnerable for attack. All right, so the next one says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8, We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. That's the truth. So is there any way I can avoid troubles and adversity? Just know it. That the fact that you are pressed on every side does not mean you will you be crushed. And we have gone through it as long as we live several times. So avoiding adversity may not be best for you. Though it may bruise you, adversity builds you up and strengthens your faith. And that is the truth. So I want to stop here and give opportunity for people who also want to say, Father, to this end, I want to commit myself to you. Just pray this prayer after me and say, Father, have mercy on my soul. Forgive me my sins. Wash me by your blood. Give me a fresh bread, Lord, and a heart surgery I need. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. Give me a new beginning. I want to reign with you in eternity. Satan, take your filthy hands out of my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me. My life belongs to Jesus and I have returned to him henceforth. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me this morning, I want to congratulate you. The hosts of heaven are in jubilant over you. And that is why I want to congratulate you specially. And also encourage you to keep feasting, keep fellowshipping with us. In this work, the Lord has done a whole lot just for you to make you a better you. Please don't miss it. It will never work like that. So just key in with us. Subscribe, invite people, and keep fellowshipping. You will build up, you will rise to the next level in the name of Jesus. So my listeners all over the world, God bless you for being part of this ministry. I want to encourage you, keep fellowshipping, keep doing what you are doing, and the Lord is beautifying your feet in the name of Jesus. May I also pray for every one of us. Today is the 1st December 2023. This is the first and this is an, an opening into your life. A, a great opening, an opportunity that nobody will stop you. You are unstoppable. Great doors are open for you. You operate under heaven, under open heaven with ease in the name of Jesus. The hand of God is upon your life to lead you. You will never fall. You will never falter. You will never sleep. In the name of Jesus, you will see the end of this year. And you will finish strong. You will be celebrated. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. And have a wonderful weekend ahead of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I also want to chip in of our book, The, the Word of a Virtuous Woman. Please look at it in the screen. Get your copy. It will bless your life. For every woman that aspires to be a virtuous woman and the husband that love them. Get your own copy. The Lord will speak to you through it in Jesus' name. Amen.